did. Got all the equipment up there. We'll sort out that canvas in a minute. Got two D4s. Two D4s on. The motor bike of the, the worker. Oh, this will be in place once we set off. We have the chain in there. And this is what the default is doing. All this was jungle and now it's not. This is the bridge we were passing before. As you can see it's getting a bit rotten now but it's still okay for our truck to pass. We decided to have lunch here next to the river. Nice and clean. I'll show you the, the truck. Okay, the low loader is a Mazari, it's a Spanish make, two axle, it doesn't have springs, it's on a hard balance bar. The truck is 6x4, it holds about 500-600 litres of diesel. This is where I keep my chains and stuff, if I need chains. The uh, CB antenna. It's quite a basic layout. Air seat. Um, there's the air pressure, fuel gauge, water temperature and oil pressure. Your speedometer and your revs, obviously a CB. There's the traction control, then your um, exhaust brake, lights, exhaust, uh, air conditioner, normal, radio. It's actually, this is actually a day cab, but this, it folds down into a bed and then a piece opens up and comes here to close it off so you can sleep here. It's an eight gear with a splitter, so it's basically 16 gears and two reverse. Um, oh, this is a, what they call an interclima, which is internal climate. When you sleep and you turn this on, it works all night. It basically circulates water and then the, the vents blow cold air onto you. That's the truck. The two operators are getting in now with his dog. I'll show you the gear changing. You don't need to set off in, in first, we'll set off in second low. To begin with you don't need to use a splitter because I'm not pushing much weight. So 
I'm in third now, third low. Fourth. Now I'm gonna go through the gate. It's a Mercedes box, I'll go through the gate into fifth. I'll use the splitter this time, which is the button on the side. <laughs> Just a quick push of the clutch and it's in. Now I'll use the splitter again to go into sixth, low. There, we're in sixth, low. And it goes on. I'm not going to go any more, any higher because it's on a dirt road, so it goes 7th and 8th. Lovely virgin jungle on both sides. But I'm sorry to say that within a couple of years there'll be nothing left here. the downhills, the worst downhills on this trip. It's claimed many lives, trucks losing control. There is a slight problem with people here where they don't respect downhill and they don't seem to know about brake fade. As you can see, all the, the crash barriers have already gone, all the scarring on the road. where the trucks end up. That's where the trucks end up, right down there. Oh, and here we go. Martelli. Showing um, how you don't do it. That's a seven axle truck, so he'll have about 57 tons, 57 to 60 tons. And he's, uh, you know, he just lets himself go. As, if you can see the, the smoke coming from the back of the truck, where his brakes are just smoking away. But that's how they, that's how they drive. 